Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I love sharing with you things I find amazing about the Quran. Today, a little bit about this beautiful bird, Al Hudhud, that's mentioned in Surah Al Naml. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, Wajatuha, wa qawmaha yasjuduna li shamsi min duni Allah, wa zayyana lahum al shaytanu a'malahum, fasaddahum anis sabili, fahum la yahtadun. Uh, the bird comes and reports back to Sulaiman after going to see Queen Sheba's, Queen Saba's kingdom. And this is her analysis. Wajatuha wa qawmaha yashuduna li shams. I found her and her nation prostrating to the sun. So they're worshipping the sun. Min dunillah as opposed to Allah. Wa zayyana lahumu shaytanu a'malahum and shaytan, the devil, has beautified, has successfully beautified their deeds to them. Meaning, meaning this heinous act of worship is a decorated act and they think it's a spiritual act and a great, you know, profound ritual, etc. Fasaddahum anis sabil. So thus he has prevented them from the path, from the correct path. Fahum la That thus they are not going to commit themselves to correct guidance. They're too invested and too immersed in their, in their you know, uh, shirk ways, in their ways of blasphemy. And they've beautified it for themselves because of shaitan, that they're not going to commit themselves to guidance. I'm amazed by this ayah because this is a bird that's giving this profound analysis. It, a bird didn't just see that they're worshipping. It sees, it, anal- it reports that they're worshipping the sun, number one. And that they've actually decorated this ritual to the point where she can tell shaitan has beautified this for them. And he's prevented them from any means of finding the right path. There's a really a deep insight by a bird. And they're not going to come. This is a very deep insight by the bird, brother. <laughs> you know, like, look, look at the madness. Instead of saying this is a fairy tale, stupid story, he is saying that the bird is giving us an insight about religion. He is describing what they worship, and he understands very well that they are wrong. And this bird is a Muslim. Now, what bird we are talking about? Maybe many of you do not know what bird we are talking about. Al Hudhud. This is the bird. I will put it for you on the screen. This is the bird we are talking about. This bird, he is a specialized bird, according to Nu'man Khan and the Muslims, who they explain how amazing the Quran is. And this guy is given a report, moving his peak. And he is telling Suleiman, Suleiman understand the language of the birds. And then Suleiman, he heard the report, and all of this is taught by the bird to Suleiman. I mean, this is a good bird. Uh, what else, uh, brother Nu'man Khan, the birds and the cats and the dogs can do? Explain to us, please. Go ahead. Put themselves to guidance. Fahum la yahtadun. What I'm trying to get at is Allah has put all these creatures that don't have a speech we can understand. Sulaiman alayhi salam is given the ability, mantiqat tayr, the ability to converse with birds, mm -hmm. you know, to, to be able to communicate with them and they can communicate with him. True. What we're learning through that little window that's been opened for us is these creatures, all of them have a language and all of them are actually, they mm -hmm. have their own way of recording what we do, <laughs> what human beings do. Like you're, you have a pet or you're just driving around, you're driving to some bad place and there's a bird sitting up on like the wires on the street or on uh, the street light and it just sees you, it looks towards you. It's a witness and it's got a pretty detailed account of what you did. It's not just the angels on your sides that are writing it down. It's the ants. It's the, it's the fly on the wall. It's the birds. You know, it's the, it's the cat, it's the dog. These are all witnesses. True. And they, just because they don't the speak cat. now, doesn't mean they won't speak on judgment day. Sure. SubhanAllah. Abs absolutely. Like, even the way we think about animals and how much they are going to be recording on our behalf has changed at just us. because of this ayah. That, like, what more do you need to become <laughs> conscious of Allah? They're all witnesses. The, and they, they are what? It's, they are, the, they are what? it's the fly on the wall. It's the birds. The fly in the wall is going to, is a spine for Allah. The fly in the wall is a spine for Allah. The dog in your house is a spine. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. And I was wondering, I saw him in the front of my house smoking a cigarette and he having eye glasses, sunglasses. Like, what is that? What he's doing there? But I never thought about it this way. 
He was sent by Allah. <laughs> Be honest. It doesn't matter who you are. You are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are an atheist, you are a Muslim, you are a Christian, whoever you are. Do you think those people are mature? Do you think those people who believe in such a garbage, they are mature? What kind of maturity we hear in this video? From a, They have a TV station. They spend hundreds of millions to promote Islam. But look what Islam is about. Listen carefully. If you don't, uh, I mean, if you, don't, if you are not getting it yet, if, my friend, listen carefully and see what we are talking about. They are bringing us fairy tale stories about a bird who fly all the way to find if a woman she have hair in her legs and then he came to Suleiman and Suleiman he heard the report from the bird and this guy trying to convince us that this is amazing Allah he sent the birds the ants the ant in the wall I killed the, I killed a fly in the wall at the other day I killed a spy who worked for Allah do you think brother I'm going to be punished for this I never thought that this fly belonged to the CIA. And this dog is looking at me in front of my door. He is, is working for Allah. I thought he is working for the neighbor. I don't know, because the neighbor, he owned him. And I thought this, uh, this cat here is like just uh, being funny. But it turned to be very serious business. They are, brother, spying for Allah that's been open for us is these creatures, all of them have a language and all of them are actually, they have their own way of recording what we do, what human beings do. Like you're, you have a pet or you're just driving around, you're driving to some bad place mm -hmm. and there's a bird sitting up on like the wires on the... Man, even the birds in the highway, they are watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have heart attack because of this religion from laughing. Abdul, you are saying to me that if a bird is standing in, in the wire in the street, he is sent by Allah to record what I am doing. Why? Allah cannot see. You Muslims are amazing. I thought Allah, he knows everything. He see everything. But now you are saying to us that Allah, he need a bird and a cat and uh, <coughs> a dog who smoke uh, marijuana. <laughs> what? <laughs> street or on uh, the street light and it just sees you, it looks towards you. It's a witness and it's got a pretty detailed account of what you did. It's not just the angels on your... Brother, clear details is not, is very, you cannot hide it, that's it. He have a clear details, he, he cannot, that's it. Eyes that are writing it down, it's the ant, it's the, it's the fly. The ant? Even the ant is writing record for all. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I cannot really believe <clears throat> that a human being wearing a suit claim that he have knowledge and he want to teach us about his religion and he yet say what we hear, a brother. Do you think the cockroach, which I saw in the other day, looking at me, I was like a, <clears throat> in a, not in my house, it was like a, in a, a, a garbage place, brother, it's throwing the garbage. I saw this creature looking at me. Do you think he was spying at me, brother? Do you think he was chasing me, brother? What those people are talking about? Are they serious? Yes, they are serious. They are willing to die for this madness. A fly in the wall. It is spying for Allah. And I was saying, why flies are all over? I never thought about it in such a way. But thank you. Thank you. You just enlightened us. I mean, how we will know this knowledge if not the brothers, the Muslim brothers, who they have extreme knowledge of everything. 
they can tell us why Allah now I know why this uh, this this fly is created I thought it's 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 bad and by the way you remind me of your prophet he said in one of the hadith if a fly fell down in the soup dig it dig it dig it hmm? uh, dig it three times and then it drink the soup and what is that according to your prophet that because one of uh, <clears throat> the wings of the fly have medication and the other one has a disease and by the way this is a proven by science too right so I don't know the science of Allah is beyond the imagination it's very beautiful it's amazing and don't think this is a comedy show this is very serious those people they watch and they listen and they believe in all this madness and you are wondering why somebody he is joining those mad terrorist groups if they believe in this why they will not believe in other things I cannot believe it sometime what I hear from this crazy cult it's called Islam teach us a brother more what do you want to say to us I did not hear you very well that's been open for us is these creatures all of them have a language and all of them are actually they have their own way of recording what we do recording what human beings do like you're you have a pet or you're just driving around you're driving to some bad place and there's a bird sitting up on like the wires on the street mm -hmm. or on uh, the street light and it just sees you it looks towards you it's a witness and it's got a pretty detailed account of what you did it's not just the angels on your sides that are writing it down it's the ants it's the it's the fly on the wall it's the birds you know it's the it's the cat it's the dog these are all witnesses and they just because they don't speak now doesn't mean they won't speak on judgment day so a question so why why Allah he need many witnesses because I notice in the street wire there's a lot of birds all of those to watch me I mean isn't it enough to have one look how many sometimes you find even like uh, 100 200 300 those are and by, by the way why they are turning back to me I am coming from this side how they can do you think they have eyes in the back of their tail <laughs> oh boy Allah like even the way we think about animals and mm. how much they are going to be recording on our behalf has changed just mm. because of this ayah. Mm. That like, what more do you need to become conscious of Allah? Mm. They, you know, what, what did these people that were worshiping the sun, how trivial was it that a bird just flew by? Like, you didn't even think about it. It's just a bird that flew by and yet it was surveillance from Allah. You never, you never thought about it. This is a flying a drone by Allah. It's called al hudhud <laughs> to spy at them. So what, what you are saying to us that the Prophet of Allah, he was not informed by Allah about them, but it was the bird who knows more than Allah. Let me show you some of the Islamic madness. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Chapter 27, verse number 20. This is the verse he is saying. He is amazed with it. And he reviewed the birds. Who? Sulaiman, <coughs> which means Solomon. And he uh, he have a bird. It's called Al-Hudhud, which is the hopo, which would locate water beneath the ground. <laughs> I'm, I'm really it's really strange you did not mention that to us that birds they can not only record what we do but they have x-ray machine and they can see the water under the ground and indicate the location by packing at, uh, by packing at it where upon the devils would extract it uh, for Solomon look at this corporation Bird Devil Corporation Limited, Limited, LLT. So the bird, his job is to find water under the ground, and the devil he dig for the location so Suleiman he can get the water. Sit down, kids. I have more stories for you in the future. And then, and required for when he prayed. But he could not see him. What Solomon? He, he he required for this bird. He could not see him. What is he? What is he? What he is? Then he said, 
Why is I don't see the hoopoo? Huh? In other words, is there something preventing me from singing him? Or he is among the absent. Look how many absent birds. What a messed up kingdom. The chicken is not here. The rooster is not here. And now the hoop hoop is not here. What we would do now? <laughs> if you go to Ibn Kathir, which is even give you more details, it's more hilarious. Look at the Muslim fantasy and how they create lies. And this is all is coming from their prophet. Look at this. <clears throat> oh. Here it says the same in Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. That Suleiman, he used the hoop hoop to find water for him. All right? When anytime he need water. So this is a very important bird. And the hoop hoop would look for water for him in many places in the earth. And then as you see the rest is in details in here so then the genie after the bird he find the location of the water Suleiman he ordered the genie to dig and get the water okay now look what happened here at the time of Muhammad this is Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad <laughs> look what happened <laughs> this is very embarrassing uh, <laughs> When uh, Ibn Abbas was reciting this verse and he was telling about the miracle of this uh, amazing bird. So he said the same that the hope hope he can see. Huh? Look what he says. When Nafia is said, you are telling us that the hope can see water beneath the ground. Huh? This is a this is an Arab guy. He did not believe in the, this madness and this garbage. And look what he said to him. But any boy can put seed in a trap and cover the trap with dirt and the hope hope will come and take the seed so the boy can catch him in the trap look how smart this Arab guy who got Muhammad and his lies busted if the bird can see the water and the ground how come he cannot see the trap which is hiding by the, the dust you see what he's saying if this bird can see, and this is a bird, the, the Arab, they hunt always. So if the bird can see under the ground, can't he see that if a little boy, he put some sand in the top of the trap? And then how we capture him if he knew there's a trap? And then look what Ibn Kathir, he said, very embarrassing. Ibn Abbas said, if it was not for the fact that this man would go tell others that he had defeated Ibn Abbas in argument, I would not even answer. <laughs> and then he, he threatened him, if you think this way, Allah will decree and strike the person who do that. And his eyes become blind and lose all, uh, uh, like he cannot, his senses, that's it. And then he, the Nafi, the guy who was despite him by this guy, he gets scared. He says, "By Allah, I will never dispute with you concerning anything with the Quran." <laughs> <laughs> and this is the end of the comedy for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to download. And this is a Christian Prince who was with you. Love the Muslims. They need a lot of love. They need a lot of help. And that's what we are doing. We love them. We care for them. We don't want to save them from this fairy tale stories of Muhammad and this madness. And by the way, this guy in the video, he said that Suleiman, he been taught the language of the birds. Maybe next time he make a video, if somebody can ask him, can you explain to us how Suleiman, he been taught the language of the birds, but yet he understand the language of the ants as we see in the verses there? Hmm? An ant, she said to the other ant, uh, ants don't talk they communicate yes but the Quran says that Suleiman he heard her speech so he heard something and that something is the language of the ants but you said in the video as I remember that Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds did he say that
looking to commit themselves to correct guidance. They're too invested and too immersed in their in their yes. worship is a decorated act, and they think it's a spiritual act and a great you know profound ritual, etc. Fasadhum an sabil. So thus he has prevented them from the path, from the correct path. Fahum that thus well, we'll see what he said. and her nation prostrating after going to see Queen Sheba's Queen Saba's king. What he said. Fasadhum an sabili. Fahum layhtadun. Uh, the bird comes and reports back to Suleiman after going to see Queen Sheba's, Queen Saba's kingdom. And this is her analysis. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is very funny and very stupid. And here the report of the bird. And he is saying to us, this is amazing. The cats, the, the, the fly, the cockroach, the goat, the donkey. Your dog, everybody is a spying at you. Everybody work for Allah and is going to be anything you do is going to report it for Allah. So if you go in the bathroom and you touch your bum, the cockroach will see you and he will report to Allah. If you go outside to the bedroom and you uh, you kiss your wife, uh, uh, the aunt who is in the window, she is going to report for Allah. Uh, if you are going to the jungle and you think there's nobody can see you, uh, Suleiman, who have uh, birds and genie, they are spying for Allah everywhere. Even the spider, he worked for Allah. And then Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, as you see here in this verse, chapter six, verse number 16, chapter 27. So Allah, he taught the, uh, the, the, the Suleiman the speech of the birds. But yet here, he understand the language of the ants. I think Muhammad, he think that birds are ants and ants are birds. What a comedy. Thank you for watching. Share the video, download it with your friends, and tell everybody that Islam is a joke. And we are not insulting. We mean it, literally. It is a joke. It's not even, it's immature religion. And the second you believe in it, you became immature person. You cannot be a person who have any kind of maturity and you believe in such a thing. Thank you very much for listening. Please download the video. Uh, share it with your friends and feel free to read my books so you can learn more about this cult. And I will see you in more videos to come. God bless you.